love designing new homes from scratch, but sometimes we need a location that is done and ready and beautiful to shoot our McGee & Co. products. Enter White Oak Homes. We connected with them. They have this beautiful home that they just built and we knew it would be the perfect collaboration to show off their cute home that they designed and our new products. For a shoot like this, there's no client, there's no existing furniture, and I can kind of do whatever I want, which is awesome. It all started with this incredible rug. I could just die over this rug. I love it so much. It has this great neutral palette with a little bit of olive and some brown and taupe, but then it has a teeny hint of terracotta, which is my favorite color right now. It just sets the tone for the entire space. The sofa is another great focal point in the space. It has this really dark blue leather and a great curved shape to it. Perfect for styling our pillows, pairing with this great marble and antique brass coffee table that is so heavy and substantial, I love it. You know, when we do like a, a sofa and an accent chair, I love to ground the corner with a big side table. This side table is one of my absolute favorites. It has these really graceful legs and a nice round top. A lot of side tables are smaller and then this one allows for you to put a big lamp on it. I think this table would also work really nicely in an entryway. The base pieces in the room have soft traditional lines. I love to throw things off a little bit. We did that here with this modern chair that has a great metal leg and kind of angular details, but it works with everything really nicely. I've talked about piece by piece, but really the overall concept for this photo shoot was to create a very lived in feel and draw color palette inspiration from the rug. I love seeing how different styling affects the entire space. And we did that with this console. We tried it two different ways. We started with a deep blue piece of artwork that tied in with the sofa and it gave it a little bit more coastal look. Then we cleared it all off, added a very neutral piece of artwork, a more terracotta tone lamp, and tied that kind of warm tone in with a leather accent chair. When you're decorating and you have a little space on either side of the console, it's easy to just say, I got the console, I put stuff on top of it, and then call it good. But to take it one step further to get that more lived in look, we added an accent chair, a little stool in the corner, and plants and fresh flowers. Every living room can use a really big tree. You can see that we kind of moved it around to different places for the photo shoot. If this was a space that was actually used for living, I would probably keep it next to the sofa. I love loft spaces. We are actually doing one in our own home that's going to be my studio, so I was really excited to get the chance to style this artist's loft in our own way. This desk is extremely versatile. I love that it is reminiscent of an old sawhorse workbench. It has this great wood tone and pairs really well with a lot of different styles of desk chairs. The first look we styled is a little more feminine. We paired a beautiful barrel back cane chair that has these great brass details on it. 
and we styled it with this cute two-tone pin board and even brought in the homeowner's easel. For the first look, we actually paired a floor lamp with the desk. This is great if you need a little bit more workspace or you just kind of want an extra layer. I think a floor lamp is a really nice look. Or the traditional route is to put a desk task lamp and we did that for the second look. This look is a little bit more streamlined. We have this metal chair and we brought in a black and white print. And this look came together in a more modern way. You can shop every look we shared today and a lot more starting February 7th on Miggy & Co.